Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. and this is the first half of February 2020 Spiritual Reading. Welcome. If you're new, welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the very beginning. Thank you to those of you whom have liked, shared, subscribed, and received month-to-month -month readings. To those of you whom have referred uh, others to me for personal readings and so on. Thank you most importantly to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I'm going to be starting out with the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Dorian Virtue, and then I'm going to be clarifying those messages with the Gateway Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. I'm going to be doing a Celtic spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Gemini I'm reading for. Woo! During this general reading with clearly defined messages regarding the first half of February 2020. Sun, Moon, Arising, Male or Female, Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto. Okay. Wow. Haven't you evolved, Gemini? Your energies right off the bat in the first week of February of 2020. You've got energies that jumped out here about self-respect and knowing where your boundaries are. Beautiful. Now in the thoughts position of the Celtic spread, we have patience. Trust and divine timing for some of you are wanting to jump and bolt into a new direction of sorts. In your foundation, spirit is offering you the energies of trust. They're saying, know that God, spirit guides, angels, guardian angels, whatever, in his infinite love is answering your prayers as you remain patient. For this process is helping to build up great energies of self-respect, whereby uh, you are clear and honest with others about your expectations. And also, I think some of you are getting stronger in the fact that uh, when others expect something from you, you're going to be on it because you respect yourself more than anything in the beginning of February. So in the recent past, probably the last week of January, today is the 27th of January when I'm filming this. Uh, there were energies of gratitude. Either you were receiving kind words, messages, and support from another, a mother, uh, or uh, you were recognizing and maybe even giving thanks to spirit for the wonderful blessings you have in your life. For as you patiently trust in spirit and give thanks to those whom care for you, who help you in any way. Know that by the second week of January 2020, you do have the prayer energies. Instead of worrying, some are going to feel more comfortable with prayer. Because what does prayer do, really? It lifts a weight right off our shoulders, right? I'm not going to worry about this anymore. I'm going to hand it to Spirit. And Spirit, you just take it and fix it. And I trust that you will guide me into the path that is in my highest, best, happiest good. So trust in prayer and remain patient could be throughout the first whole half of February 2020 for some Geminis. Yeah, in your actions position, you're being guided to be quiet, to quietly pray, to trust and have patience, to give and receive gratitude with and to others, and to recognize those energies of great self-respect, where you can be clear with others about where you stand, and patiently await the fact that spirit will help you as you remain quiet to find peace in your life once again. Okay, so in the spiritual advice position, you do have caring. Spirit is going to help for this Gemini to understand that heaven cares for you, Gemini. And it says, I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others in the world. It's like the more you give to others during this first half of February 2020, Gemini, the more, of course, the positive energies are going to come back tenfold. And prayer will help for this to transpire more quickly for those of you whom are a bit impatient. Remember, patience, trust, and quiet time. Be a good time to work on a hobby, gift, talent, or skill. For it'll help you to recognize that you are a stronger soul in some way. Now, in the hopes and fears position, this is interesting. Hoping or fearing a situation involving marriage. 
uh, hoping or fearing that you can come into connection with a healthy partnership with another or others. Again, spirit saying pray and have trust that if you want healthy partnerships, as you put effort in, spirit will bless you with the right one or the right ones. Now, this could be. Okay, by mid-February of 2020, we have hope. So there is, I feel, a lot of hope to come into a deeper commitment partnership or contract. But the advice, okay, if this is a single Gemini, is to just remain patient. Have gratitude for the fact that you have learned so much about yourself and that through maybe difficult experiences or connections that you have now recognized your own self-respect. You're strong enough to speak to others about your boundaries, um, but you're also strong enough to open your heart and care for those around you. And that's hard for some who have been through something difficult. But we do have hope here in the outcome position, again, by mid-February 2020, and it says God has a wonderful solution and brilliant plans in store for me. So accept that, receive that. For Spirit saying, it is during the first half of February 2020 where we're going to be sending this Gemini signs and synchronicities as they open their heart to love and devote themselves to what it is they truly are proud of within themselves. Again, this is a great year to create um, a solid foundation in the area of creativity. Coming up with an idea that you've always wanted to learn about or do for you could create a small business in the year of 2020. You could add to an additional income doing something you really enjoy. And that's what I feel spirit is trying to marry you into. If this isn't about a relationship, trust that spirit's guiding you. But you've got to keep uh, hoping and give gratitude to those whom care about you. Okay. That's a big message for the first half of January 2020. So for clarification, again, I'm bringing in the Gateway Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. So we've got in the first week of February 2020, self-respect boundaries. Why? Just like I was talking about, because this Gemini is healing from the past. They're now able to step into their future with great strength and clarity because they recognize their own self-respect and where their boundaries are, that they can speak their truth about their boundaries, but still do so with a caring and open heart. So in the thoughts position for this Gemini, we do have manifesting your dreams. So do not give up hoping, wishing, praying, planting seeds, and putting energy into what you are praying and hoping to see evolve, okay? So for some of you, you know what I'm talking about. You've been putting a lot of energy into something in hopes that you'll become a singer, a dancer, an actress, a model, whatever this is. Trust in divine timing with the patient's energy. And as you are, it could be for some of you in the first week or two that um, your dreams are manifesting. Your dreams are coming true. It's in the thoughts position. I patiently waited and my dreams are coming true. I'm going to step into my future with great strength and clarity now because I have trusted in spirit to guide me. But again, the advice is proceed softly. It's in quietude that this Gemini is going to recognize these signs is what I'm hearing. So in the past, there was gratitude. Someone gave you a lot of uh, kind words and messages. Maybe you were very grateful to others. That's what you were being guided to do or are as of today, the 27th of January, as I filmed this. Or the more grateful you are to the blessings in your life, Spirit saying, the more we will help you to start fresh with a new beginning. Some of you in the first week, this is some, let me know who this is. A wish is coming true. Your dreams are coming true, but proceed softly. Stand clear with yourself, respecting your boundaries. Make sure others understand your expectations. Some of you are going to be recognizing by the second week of February 2020, Gemini, that your prayers have come true, that your prayers were the seeds you were planting. Please bless me with a hit song. Please bless me with, you know, a dance move that gets recognized on YouTube. Please bless me. Um, with a child or a grandchild. It is through prayer that these seeds are being planted. Seeds of grace in the fertile 
soil of your soul. Wow. So in the actions position, this Gemini is being guided to go into peaceful silence and listen. Listen and expect miracles in your actions position as you proceed softly in the first half of February 2020. For miracles are blossoming because in your thoughts you are able to recognize that through patience and trust in the divine timing that your dreams will come true. So by mid-February of 2020, here you are having the strength to care for others and to receive care from others, support. For now, you can close a door on the past and embrace the future. Wow, somebody is going to see something manifest. It could take till mid-February for some. Others, it could be right off the bat in the beginning of the month. In the hopes and fears position, hoping to come into deeper commitment, partnership, or contract with another. For this process is going to help for you to Heal old rips. Some of you may be coming into partnership with someone that's helping you because you've planted the seeds, you put the time and effort in, you become a stronger person and you're recognizing that your dreams are manifesting. Expecting miracles will open a doorway for you and this process will help for you to mend old bridges or at least spirits asking you to do so. So in the outcome position, Gemini, by mid-February of 2020, have hope and stand firm, noble, brave, and strong, understanding that brilliant plans are in store for you. And Spirit already knows all about it. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. For some, I can't help to recognize that we've got love here. If you're single, you're going to draw someone's attention to you. Be strong, devote kind words and messages, but, you know, be clear about your boundaries. Somebody needs to forgive their father. That might be something that has been holding them back. Listen with your heart for spirit is trying to bring messages whereby you can soar into joy in the first half of February 2020 Gemini and come into your power. It is a time to make sure that you cherish yourself. Of course, without pride or ego, just the star within you that was meant to shine. Every one of us can become a star, but we've got to get in touch of, with who we are. For every comedian is different, right? But they shone in their own way. Their own uniqueness is the star within each of us. All right. So I'm closing with one card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed And Gemini, you're receiving the Rainbow Prince energies. This is about preservation, preservation, um, persevering by not giving up, having patient understanding that divine timing through your prayers will eventually make your dreams come true as you step into a new future with an open heart and recognize that your energy, your time and effort and even some quiet time of prayer is what is blossoming uh, these miracles into your life. Where there will be compensation. So 26 is about, the number two is about contemplating one direction or another, one path or another, hoping to move into a different path than the one you're on. And six is about success. Two plus six is eight. Eight is about what did I learn in the past? Am I going to repeat old patterns, behaviors, or cycles? Or am I going to take a new direction? And step into a more highly evolved part of my soul's journey. Spirit will bring you clear vision. Make sure you are discerning with others and be clear about your expectations in a way that is kind. Embrace the future. For some of you, you may recognize signs of what is yet to come in the first half of February 2020. So should these messages have resonated for you and you'd like further information about your own energy and how you can apply those energies towards your journey ahead, I do offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below. I am still offering the New Year special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. 
So thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated. Take care and God bless.